so I'm in my IntelliJ right now, and let's write uh, some unit tests here for chapter five. So I'll go here uh, in the test package and alt insert package. I will mark it as chapter five. RDD external external data sets. Okay, we got this new package here. Let's create one uh, unit test class. I will mark it as RDD RDD external data sets test. Okay. Okay. Now let's start writing our unit tests. Uh, to save some time, I'll just create. I just use the Spark config uh, from the previous uh, chapter. So I will just copy this. So here, first of all, we create a Spark config object, and then we will create the Java Spark context by passing this Spark on as a constructor parameter, as we did in the previous uh, unit test cases. So here, I will just copy it and paste it. And here, I will change the name of the app. So this app is something which is visible in the app, uh, web context UI, as we learned in the our context web UI uh, tutorial. So this would be uh, like this name. So we just put the same name as the class test class name. Now in the resources folder, I have got two files. Uh, one is a normal txt file containing 1000 words. So one line is containing only one word. And another is a gzip file. Uh, again, it contains like uh, more number of uh, words, one word per line, but it's actually in the gz format, zip format. So it's like around 2 MB uh, containing more than 2,000, uh, 200,000 words. And this is only containing 1,000 words separated by each line. So we'll load both of these text file and uh, text.gz file into our, uh, can create an RDD out of it. So let me create the unit test. So I'll go to alt insert test method and I will call it as test loading local text file into spark rdd okay so let me create this but instead of this i will create a parameterized test because uh, in one uh, set i will pass both these files in uh, using the parameterized test so the way we, we do it in junit 5 is that we just call this parameterized parameterized test okay like this and then I will use a value value source. The value source means I will I can just pass whatever uh, string variables I can uh, pass at the as the whole uh, path of this these two files. Okay, so here it I will just take here strings because we are passing uh, the path as a string, and inside this I will give the complete path of these two files. So here I have given source test because this is from the from the class path. So it starts on source test resources and 1000 words here like this. So I've given this path here and the other path would be similar to uh, this and uh, this txt file. I will do a uh, control D and here I will remove this and just use word list dot text dot here. So, so I've got parameterized test. In the value source, these are the two strings I will pass to the argument here. So I will create it by final string local files path. Local file path. Okay. And uh, so we have got this. Now, actually, I also like uh, prefer to use display name here for the test. So display name. And inside this, I will do this write this, uh, some uh, some common English uh, to describe this test case. So test loading local text files into Spark RDD. Okay. So our parameterized test is already. We are passing these two strings with the complete path into this uh, into this uh, local file path argument here. Now let's try to create the Java Spark context and we will call the text file method there. So I'll put it into a try block, try. 
and in a try block i will create our java spark context so i'll just mark it as spark context is equal to new java spark context and pass this spark const that we have created created here okay so our spark context is created now now let's create our rdd by calling the text file method on that spark context i'll just again mark it as my rdd is equal to spark context dot text file okay in the text file we are we are going to pass this local file path so our this is our uh, rdd should be created here by first first it will uh, run for this dot txt file and after that in the second run of this test it will load this gz file and now we can write some um, other uh, methods to actually see that investigate this file that what is inside it so i will use uh, a print statement a print up statement that i will uh, first of all check total lines in the file and mark it as a number and call my rdd dot count this is what we also did in our previous video on parallelize so once we have this rdd we can run various operations or transformations or actions on it so first of all we we get the total number of uh, lines in the file just remember that both of these files are having one word per line so in that case so 1000 i expect that it will be containing 1000 uh here it will give me the 1000 only this is having like more than uh, 200000 so we'll see anyway so next right uh, so we'll also print a uh, few uh, say first 10 lines or first 10 words which is there in these two files and for this i will just uh, use this rdd again so i will use my rdd dot take take is important because i will just going to take the first 10 line so take is used uh, just from the just take the, the top uh, first uh, 10 uh, lines from uh, from our rdd so the first 10 words would be here and then for each i will print it simply uh, system out okay that's it and just to uh, because we are running it two times for two diff for two files so i will also create something like this so that we can easily identify so let's revise what we have done before we run this unit test so we get a spark conf object uh, by creating the app name with the same test class name and uh, set the master as local star which means it will take default uh, four number of partitions as number of cpu cores in my machine and then we write up then we wrote a parameter parameterized test Parameterized test is used because we can pass uh, various parameters here uh, in this uh, with a test uh, um, method argument. And here we are passing two files as, a, as a, the whole path of this, those files. One is 1000 words or normal txt file and another one is the zz file. And then finally we create our spark context in a try with resources finally block, which means that it will be closable after this uh, block ends. We pass the spark conf object we created an RDD object. This is the more important part that we are learning is in this chapter is that we use text file method. And then we loaded this file that uh, which we have passed here. And then we did some basic operations like uh, we checked the count that how, what is the number of uh, lines in these files. And then we also printed the first 10 lines by calling the take method on that RDD. And then we print each of them by using for each method. Now let's run this test case and see. So I click on this run button here. It's running now. So it will take some time too because it's only slice spark and it has been run now. So even this like huge file of 2MB was like very quickly loaded. So let's see uh, our output, right? So first it was it was uh, passing this 1000 words of txt and that's why it prints something like uh, the count of the file i think there are extra nine lines i i was I, I found that in, in that text and also when printing first 10 lines so it was like something like the most common words like the and two and all let's compare this with this so we have got 
this 1000 words dot txt and this is the and two of a etc which is exactly matching with whatever is printed here similarly for the second file which was words list dot t dot txt text dot gz file it has got total two two four seven one four words and for the first 10 lines it also matches with here so it a b a b d e h so it's exactly same here they can again check all this so our uh, this command is working fine so we are able to count the create the uh, rdd first using the text file method and uh, got the count of the number of lines in this file and we also printed the first 10 lines so let's uh, write some more unit test cases to cover more uh, scenarios